I think we could be good if everyone can stay healthy and eligible to play. Like We got good bones, we just have to work for it and get there. The bones are there for Cresswell High School, who went from zero wins to two from 2017 to 2018, and is now aiming for more in 2019. I'm hoping we have a little momentum from last year. You know, our guys were, were competed, like you said, uh, all year. I'm, I'm hoping uh, we can bring that into this year and our guys will uh, work even harder and, and find a way to, to uh, not only win a few more games, but uh, again be competitive. Added developments from an off-season weight room program will help move that kind of thing along. Urban Allison has worked quite a bit. His max squat went 200 pounds heavier this year. Wow. Yeah. Tyler Nickel, he's gotten a lot bigger. And same as what Logan said, Corbin Allison has gotten a lot bigger. Which means more a team effort than relying on singular stars. We had one main guy, Taylor, but it feels like everyone this year is working a lot harder and it doesn't really feel like we have like a go-to guy. It's just like basically anyone. And for this senior class, it means something even more. Definitely want to go out on a better note than years past. And definitely there's a bunch of younger, younger kids that always are like working hard. The freshmen have been probably working the hardest. So. so for the seniors at Crestwell, the legacy won't just be defined in wins and losses, but in showing the next class how it's done.